Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. So, this is a video that I've been, like, f trying to contemplate whether or not I want to make just yet, because there's still more to come, but I think today it would be fun to rank the G3 dolls that we've gotten so far. Um, I'm not going to be including dolls that are not yet fully released, so Skultimate Secrets, the budget dolls... I'm leaving those off the list. I'm also leaving Creepover Party off the list because, once again, not officially released. So, in this video, I'm going to be ranking my... No, we're just gonna rank them all. Like, one, two, whatever the number is. I think we're gonna be talking about at least seven... No, at least nine dolls here. Yeah, so uh, with that out of the way... Let us begin ranking the G3 Monster High dolls we have gotten so far. So starting us off at the bottom, we have the Ghoul Spirit 6-Pack Deuce. I just don't really like this doll. There isn't a whole lot to him. He's kind of boring, which is why he's my choice for the bottom. Um, if you want me to justify it, basically I just don't really like the way he's dressed. The shorts are boring, the shirt is boring, the mask he comes with is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Like, it's fun and cheesy, but it also just looks kind of ridiculous, so, you know. The shoes are boring, too, so that's what it comes down to. He's my number one least favorite because I just think he's kind of boring. So, yeah, not much to say there. My next pick for my bottom few, I'm gonna count how many there are after this one, but, um, it's Coffee Break Deuce. I promise this is not going to be a trend. Look, I just don't like his outfit here. The on I said it myself in my own review of this doll. The only thing I like about him is that he kind of has a side glance. I think that's cute. And I like the pants. That's it. His shoes are so incredibly detailed, but they just didn't paint them at all. And I feel like that's such a loss. I think it would have helped him if he did have paint detail on his shoes and a shirt that actually matched his outfit. So, yeah. Bottom, bottom two. Okay, I just counted. So this makes him number 16 in the ranking. So let's move on to number 15. My choice for number 15 is Ghoul Spirit Cleo. I'm sorry. I like that she has shorter hair, but this doll just doesn't do it for me. The outfit feels way too Barbie extra or Barbie fashionistas and not Monster High enough. Like they wrote Monster High on her jersey. They wrote it on her flag. But I just still don't feel like she looks like a Monster High character. Also, taking Cleo off the Fear Waiting Squad? Horrible decision. Terrible. I hope somebody was fired for this. That was sarcasm. But, um, yeah, number 15. Burger King Foot Lettuce. Next up, in 14th place, we have Basic Gulia. I have tried to like this doll more than I do, but replacing the red in her color scheme with pink making her skin green. I just don't think it works. She's still cute. I like her. I have her in person and I do enjoy her. But when it comes to the other dolls she's up against, I just don't feel like she compares. Which is why I have her at number 15. 14. Number 14. <laughs> I already forgot how to count. But yeah, I think that's how numbers work. I'm gonna be mad if I found out I was wrong the whole video. I have it right, I gotta stop doubting myself. Okay, number 14 goes to Gulia because, you know, the only piece I like about her are her earrings and her jacket. The shoes are nice too. I just feel like they overdid it with the brain motif and that's about it. I don't know. So yeah, 14th place. In 13th place, yeah, 13th place, we have a six-pack Claudine. I just don't like the orange. I don't think orange was a good accent color for this doll. Like, for the casket ball, sure. But for her knee guard, singular, her shoes, the fur on her, on her sleeves, that's weird, and the thing on her head, this doll does have a pretty face in person, which is why she's higher up than some of our other choices so far. But just not a big fan. And once again, Claudine has Polly, so, you know, just points are taken off for that as well. <laughs> Overall, just not a huge fan of this doll, but she is a pretty base doll, 
and definitely has potential. In 12th place, we have Basic Deuce. I'm sorry, it looks like I have it out for this man, but I promise I don't. It's just, he's kind of boring here. Like, cool, he's got a little cupcake and a apron, and he bakes. But once again, I just feel like it comes down to me not liking his outfit, and that's pretty much all it is. Like, Deuce is a good character. We haven't seen much of his personality in G3, but yeah, I'm just not big on this doll, and that's pretty much all it boils down to. I just don't really like him. But 12 is still pretty good, considering we only had 17 dolls to rank in the first place. So, yeah, I'd say he did well for himself here. Next up, my choice for 11th place is Basic Claudine Wolf. Very sorry, I reviewed this doll. I reviewed most of the dolls in this video, the only ones that I haven't made videos on. But I have seen and held myself in person are the Ghoul Spirit 6-pack and Deuce. But, um... Yeah, Claudine, I've held her in person. The hair isn't awful, but it's still very hard to manage. It just comes down to me not liking what they did with her style. It doesn't feel fierce enough. I really like her shoes. She looks much better when she's wearing her little fur coat. But the doll just doesn't look like this in person. You compare the hand-painted prototype here to what you see in the box, and it's just not the same. But, um, yeah, overall, I like the doll. I don't dislike her by any means. She's just not one of my favorites, which is why she's number 11. In 10th place, we have six-pack Ghoul Spirit Draculaura. This doll is super cute, but a bit plain. Uh, something cute that her original doll had was fishnets. Her original cheerleading doll in G1 had fishnet leggings, fishnet, like, sleeves on her, like, uniform. And she doesn't have that here. I feel like adding that would add a lot of character that she just seems to be lacking. Overall, the outfit's super cute. I love the bow. The pom-poms could have been real. They didn't need to be plastic. I like the shoes. It's just basically, I wish there was more detail, pretty much. But yeah, overall, very nice doll and a fitting 10th place. In ninth place, we have another ghoul spirit doll, and it is Frankie. This Frankie is so pretty. I absolutely love the baggy jacket. I love their skirt. The one thing I don't love is the shoes. This doll is so pretty overall, though. I love their face. I love the cute little lightning bolt on their cheek, the little foam finger they're cheering with. Another thing that's worth taking some points off for, though, is the side shave. Just because they didn't flock it. There's no flocking on the side of their head to make it look like it's actually shaved. It's just sculpted, which I don't like. Hopefully going forward, if they make any more side shave Frankies, they will be flocked on the side. But overall, very nice doll. I definitely really like this one. So, ninth place. Eighth place is Fear Leading Toralai. I like Toralai. She has real socks. She did the top knot better than Claudine. Enough said. Um, speaking of Toralai, in seventh place, we have basic Toralai. Trust me, I would put this doll higher, but I just can't deny that there are better dolls than her. I can't lie to myself. So, this Toralai's nice, obviously. I like how she came out. My one big gripe, though, other than her head shape, is the hair. Toralai absolutely needed short hair. I get it, it's a fashion doll. Fashion dolls should have long hair, even though they released a Frankie with short hair and proved that they're perfectly capable of releasing dolls with short hair. They had to give her long hair. Hopefully, going forward, they will give Toralai releases with shorter hair, but overall, that's the main thing holding her back. As well as the molded-on socks molded onto her shoes. They gave her separate socks on the Fear Waiting doll, so why couldn't she have them here? But yeah, overall, I like her accessories, and yeah. Eighth place? I said eighth, right? <laughs> I can't count. Never mind, I'm stupid. She's seventh place. Let's move on to sixth. Coming up next in sixth place is Gorgonizer Draculaura. I haven't seen this doll in person, but she is just so pretty that I feel like she's deserving of being up this high on the list. Her face is stunning. Honestly, I wish every Draculaura we've gotten had the same screening as this one. Minus all the extra hearts, of course, because I feel like that's what makes this doll unique. But like, just the way her eyes look. 
it's perfect here. These are the perfect eyes. They even kind of look like the original prototype that we see of Draculaura in her stock photos. Um, outfit's a bit bare bones, but the doll's face is what carries it, as well as that mesh top. That uh, mesh top is, like, amazing. Probably one of the best pieces they've made so far. It's so versatile. You could use it for, like, any restyle. I actually kind of want to put it on Torelai. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Definitely really like this doll. The playset seems kind of pointless, but we're ranking the dolls. So, you know, if she had been a separate release, had a more detailed outfit, she probably would have been number one. But as it stands, I think sixth place is a perfectly good spot for her. Reaching our top five. Coming up in fifth place is Basic Laguna. So, I like this doll. I'll be one of the many people who've already said it to say that Pink Laguna is cute. I really like her, and I'm looking forward to seeing more dolls of her in this generation. But, the thing that's holding her back is, one, the fact that she doesn't have webbed hands, two, the fact that the paint apparently isn't sealed on her legs and will come off very easily, and three, that bathing suit. This doll would have been so good if the bathing suit actually matched her color scheme, but instead they gave her this bathing suit that just doesn't match with her at all. And that's what's holding her back. Um, overall, I really like her. She's probably one of my favorite dolls from G3, hence why she's in the fifth place spot. But those are the main things holding her back. Webbed hands would have made her a little more unique. She even has them in the show. So I feel like she should have had them. It would make her stand out more a little from the others. But, you know, they didn't do that. So I think fifth place is a perfectly good spot for her. Coming up in fourth place, and this decision was hard for me, is Cleo. So, I love basic Cleo. She's the first G3 doll I bought. I did overpay for her, but I honestly don't regret it because I got a perfect one. She is absolutely stunning. Cleo is probably one of the best designed G3 dolls. That's probably an unpopular opinion. I, I don't know. I don't think I see many people praise the Cleo that often, but I love her. Like, personally, I absolutely adore her. I absolutely love the dress. I love her belt piece. I like the jacket is kind of holding her back, which is why she's here. But mm, everything else is really good. I like her thicker body type as well. It's very unique. I like that they didn't just use Draculaura's body type and make her taller. They actually have like completely unique sculpts in that sense. It's pretty cool. And while I do wish she had had bangs... I don't mind it. I don't mind the lack of them. I think her hair looks cute here. So yeah, Cleo is very deserving of fourth place. In third place, we have Mix Frankie Stein. Mix is a um, pronoun, kind of like Mr. or Mrs., but like that's the gender neutral version, in case you didn't know. Spelled MX. Yeah, I'm just letting y'all know. But I love G3 Frankie. <laughs> I'll admit. It took me a little bit to grow fonder of them, but actually getting them in person, mm, it's night and day. They're amazing in person. This doll is absolutely amazing. I just love them so much. I love all their pieces. The blue skin doesn't bother me that much or the lack of neck bolts. Like at first I was like, meh, how dare they not have these things? But now it's like, I'm at peace with it. <laughs> uh, I love this doll so much. Their fashion is so adorable. I absolutely love their shoes, too. I know they're super basic looking, but they're so cute. They're like high-top sneakers. That's cute. That's adorable. Um, yeah, and unpopular opinion, but I like this doll better than the prototype that leaked a few days ago. Yeah, I, I like this one better. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the pink bias in me. I think pink is actually a really good accenting color for Frankie, and while I don't think every character needs to wear pink at some point, it looks good on Frankie. So, I'm okay with it. Third place. Third place. Third place. Coming up in second place is Miss Draculaura. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. She's adorable. Mm. I absolutely love her little cape. I love her little bat wing um, sunglasses, even though I never make her wear them. They're just so uniquely made, those sunglasses. They've got little hearts, and then they got bat wings around the hearts. That's fucking adorable. 
I love her heels, and it's really easy to make her stand on them, which definitely earned her some bonus points. I love her earrings. I just love everything about her. And I especially really like her new body type. It's so cute. She's so curvy. Love it. So, what don't I like? I'd say one of her worst pieces is probably that little pretzel. That's like a super minor complaint. I just don't like it. I don't like that it has eyes. Maybe it's a reference to the first episode where Frank- where- I almost said Frankie. Where Draculaura brings some tater tots to life. I don't know. Uh, one complaint though. She should have had the hat. She wears a sun hat in the show, but she also cycles between the hat and this headband, so this headband does show up in the show. It's just the fact that she didn't get the hat on the doll. Come on, man, that was gonna be so cute. So that's my main gripe. Overall, stunning doll. And I'm really looking forward to more Draculaura releases, even though she already has, like, four. Like, five. Including upcoming dolls. Draculaura is getting a lot of dolls, and it's obvious why. She's the fan favorite for a reason. And next, finally, we have my pick for number one. Who do I think the number one best G3 doll is so far? I'm about to be real annoying. Once my dog stops being annoying first. Why is he barking? Are you guys ready? Coffee break Frankie, baby. I fucking love this doll. (laughs) I love this Frankie. You would have never heard me saying that in G1 because Frankie was one of my least favorite characters way back then. And I don't even know why. Frankie has always been a fine character. They've always had great dolls. I've come to appreciate them more recently. And how can I let that appreciation appreciation stop at G1 when this gorgeous doll exists? The Coffee Break Pack, while objectively overpriced, introduced us, graced us, no, blessed us, with one of the greatest Frankie Stein dolls of all time. You might call me delusional or insane, and maybe both of those things are true, but I love this doll. I love their funky boots that are different lengths. I love their purse. I love that ridiculous coat with the big old shoulder pads. I love the separate tie. Just everything about them. Frankie is the best character in G3. They're the best styled, and that's just the facts. They did the best on Frankie. They outdid themselves. When I say they, I'm referring to the designers. The designers... The designers who gave us G3 Frankie. May their crops be blessed. I don't I don't fucking know. Look, this doll's good. That's what I'm trying to say. And with that, we have counted down my top favorite G3 dolls. Ranked all of them, excluding the ones that are not officially released. So, yeah. Let me know your list in the comments. And... That's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, see ya.